My name is Romy and in today's video I will take you along and show you some of the best Instagram spots in Iceland. Iceland is an island in the Atlantic Ocean located northwest from mainland Europe and northeast from the United States. The island is very unique and you will find all kinds of natural formations here like waterfalls, volcanoes, glaciers and geysers. We did an 8 day round trip through the south of Iceland and came across many beautiful spots. I don't know about you, but I love to take some awesome photos for my blog and Instagram account. So I made an overview of my top 15 best Instagram and photo spots around the south of Iceland. And to make it easy for you guys, I will make sure to put all exact locations down in the description of this video. So let's go! So number one is one of the coolest spots on Iceland, the DC-3 plane rack. In 1973, an American DC-3 plane wreck crashed on a beach about 23 kilometers from Vic. The reason of the crash is still unknown, but fortunately all passengers survived. The wreckage was never removed by the Icelandic government, so it's still there today. And since a couple of years, after the I'll show you video clip from Justin Bieber was released, it became quite a popular tourist attraction and photo spot. So the second spot is the Fjallsarlan Glacier Lake, located in the south of Iceland, about an hour's drive from Hafen. I thought this was the coolest glacier lake I've ever seen. Fjallsarlan is part of Iceland's largest glacier, the Fatnajökull. If you drive from Vik to Hafen, you can stop at several places along the road to see the glacier lake. For, but for me, the best spot was next to the Fjallsarlan restaurant. So here's how my photo turned out. So number three is the Skogafoss waterfall located between Selfoss and Vik. Skogafoss is 60 meters high and 25 meters wide, so it's huge. If you're lucky and the sun comes out, a beautiful rainbow will appear in front of the waterfall. Very cool to see and to capture. So close to Vik, you will find the fourth spot, Reynes Fjara Black Sand Beach. The beach is not only special because of its black sand, but also because of the enormous basalt cliffs. Super cool to behold and a great place to shoot. So the fifth spot is the Hallgrimskirkja. Those Icelandic names are so hard to pronounce, but okay. Um, the Hallgrimskirkja is a church in Reykjavik with a very futuristic look. The architect was inspired by the basalt rocks that can be found on Iceland and that you saw in the last photo I showed you. The church is almost 75 meters high, making it the highest church on Iceland. So, this place cannot be missing from your Instagram page. So, number six is the Strucker Geyser, which can be found in the Golden Circle. Every few minutes, the geyser sprays water, which can reach a height of 30 meters. Very cool to see and to capture, of course. It can be quite difficult to capture the water, since you simply don't know when the geyser is going to spray. So, have your camera ready at all time. Of course, the Blue Lagoon cannot be missing from this overview. For the ones who don't know, the Blue Lagoon is a geothermal bath and is probably the most popular attraction in Iceland. The swimming pool is artificial and is located in a volcanic area. As a result, the water is full with minerals and has a healing effect against, for example, eczema. Also, the beautiful blue color is because of these minerals. So the Blue Lagoon is gorgeous, but also very touristy. Keep in mind that the entrance fee is quite expensive and that it can be very, very busy. Nevertheless, I was able to enjoy it for a while and this is how my photo turned out. Number 8 is the Zelia Landsfoss waterfall. The waterfall is located between Selfoss and Vik and has a height of 65 meters. What makes this waterfall remarkable is the fact that you can walk behind it. Make sure you put on a raincoat though because you will get very wet. The next spot is Diamond Beach. Diamond Beach is a black sand beach where the rocks from the glacier lake wash ashore. The ice rocks, which look like diamonds, shine bright in the sun and the contrast with the black sand beach make it a great photo opportunity. So the tenth spot is the Spartifoss waterfall. For me this was the most beautiful waterfall I've seen in Iceland due to the black basalt columns by which it's surrounded. The basalt columns were created by lava, which cooled down very slowly, which allowed it to crystallize. You can create a very cool photo here, and this is how mine turned out. So the next spot is Stoxnes and Vestrahorn. 
Stockness is a peninsula located about 15 kilometers from Hafen and is a very popular spot among photographers because Festerhorn is located here, one of the most beautiful cliffs in Iceland. The peaks of the mountains have an altitude of 454 meters and are surrounded by a black sand beach, a wonderful bit of nature. So number 12 is the Carrot Volcano and the Crater Lake. The crater is about 170 by 270 meters and is 55 meters deep. There are several stories about the origin of the Crater Lake, but it is believed that Carrot was a cone volcano that collapsed during an eruption. The water in the lake has a beautiful turquoise color and is about 10 meters deep. It is possible to descend from the edge to the Crater Lake. There are stairs so it's very easy to get there. During our visit there was snow and the crater lake was frozen, which made it very special. It's a pity I didn't bring my ice skates, otherwise I could have crossed off ice skating inside of a volcano off of my bucket list. Number 13 is another waterfall, this time the Gullfoss waterfall. The Gullfoss waterfall is one of Iceland's most impressive waterfalls and it shows, because there are a lot of tourists visiting it. The water of the waterfall falls into a 70 meters deep gorge, which is 20 meters wide and 2.5 and kilometers long. The waterfall has two steps, so there's a lot of drifting water. If you're lucky and the sun shines over the waterfall, a rainbow can form. Just picture perfect. So the 14th spot is an Icelandic road. The Icelandic roads are beautiful. It's quiet and the scenery is absolutely gorgeous. Especially the roads towards Stuxnes and Vesterhorn I found breathtakingly beautiful. When we drove on a winding road and passed the meadow with Icelandic horses, I just had to stop and take a photo. And this is how it turned out. So the last spot I want to share with you guys is the street art wall in Reykjavik. I personally love street art and a photo in front of this wall could not be missing from my Iceland photo collection. So that's it for today's video. I hope you guys liked it and found it helpful. And of course there's more to see and to do on Iceland. And for more information you can visit my blog where you can find multiple articles I wrote about Iceland. Thank you so much for watching and please do not forget to subscribe to my channel and stay up to date for all my future videos. I hope to see you next week. Bye!